just a warning to any of you that's watching this, this is not going to be a typical Johto Gold happy narration. I just had to deal with a whole bunch of bull crap in my life and I'm not happy at all. So let's get the battle started anyway. It's a gym battle against Asia 360 from the Pokemon International Facebook group. Second gym. Let's get to this. Um, I'm, he's gonna, he's, his, uh, team is an all, it's a, eh. Fire type, uh, doubles gym thing. And he's got a fire monotype team. So I brought a sand team. In case he happened to win a weather war, a, a rain team would not be as good. So I thought about that and brought sand. So he's gonna lead with Victini and his Infernape is I'm gonna lead with my Hippo and, uh, Terrakion just to get the sand up. But he's gonna make a good play and go for the fake out on my Terrakion. And flinch it so I can't uh, destroy his life with a close combat or a rock slide or an earthquake. But um, the Victini's gonna go and get ahead, go for a psychic. And I'm gonna set up the rock so now everything that comes in is gonna get absolutely raped by them. So, um, now that um, uh, Terrakion's not gonna get flinched again, he's choice banded, so anything that he happens to do. Uh, if he wants to withdraw his Azure and send in his Arcanine, it's gonna get destroyed. Even though it's got the Intimidate ability, it's gonna get destroyed by a Rock Slide. So, F you Arcanine, I hate you. Ugh. Sorry, I've had to deal with a lot of bullsh... Bullshit. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna bother covering it up. I'm gonna fucking swear. Fuck it. Um, Rock Slide. Destruction. Goodbye Arcanine, never come back. Uh, earthquake! Don't kill Terrakion, because you got the Intimidate on. And it's not going to kill Terrakion. And the Victini's going to get, like, no damage from it. Which is going to get... So it's a very defensive Victini for some reason. So, yeah. Uh, Azer's going to send in Dup, the, uh, uh, Heatran. And he's going to get Stealth Rock damage, and I don't give a shit. I'm gonna withdraw Smash Steel because I don't want it to get Lava Plumed in the face, so I'm gonna send in my Pickle, my Chandelure to take a Lava Plume, and the Lava Plume's gonna do absolutely nothing because I have the Flash Fire ability. <sighs> and the Nine Tails is gonna come in and activate Drought, so I no, no longer got the Sand Up. The Lava Plume is gonna do absolutely nothing to me. It's gonna do a decent amount of damage to Hippodon, thankfully not gonna burn, he's gonna damage his own Nine Tails too. So, yeah, this battle only had 8 turns, but I should have went for Earthquake there. Why didn't I roar? This battle's only got 8 turns, but it seems like way more because there's a whole bunch of craps going on. Even though it's only doubles and not triples or rotation or whatever the hell you want to call it. Anyways, uh, he can't do anything to my hippo because my hippo is a boss. He's going to withdraw his uh, heat track because he doesn't want to, get, want it to get EQ'd and send in his bikini again. And the uh, fluffy Entei thingy is gonna fucking stone edge my pickle in the face, and the pickle's gonna die. So, pickle, you're good for uh, a switch in to absorb a hit, but that's all you're good for. So, I'm just gonna slack off, get a whole bunch of HP back. I don't know why I didn't EQ there, but I guess increasing my longevity is good too. But killing the Victini would have been nice, and damaging the Entei would have been nice too, but whatever. I'm gonna send in my Doug Trio, Slug Trio, and trap both his Pokemon. And he's gonna get the E speed off and do a crap ton of damage to Slug Trio, but he's not even gonna take it down to the Sash, which is kinda pathetic, and I'm gonna go for an EQ, get some damage on my own Hippo, but I'm gonna kill the Butt Wings with a useless crit. And the Entei is gonna get created too, so yeah, I got double crit on one attack, so yeah, 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 my Doug Trio is a bot! <sighs> And I don't know why I went for Roar. Where I got, yeah, I went for Roar because I didn't want to kill my own Doug Trio. Because Doug Trio is frail as hell. So, yeah. Um, Roshi's gonna send in, yes, nine, the nine tails again. And that's awesome because it's trapped, but now I, I can't keep it trapped because uh, I don't want Doug Trio to get faked out and get his thing to the back. So, I'm gonna have to withdraw Slug Trio, and Slug Trio is gonna be exchanged for Akisora by Salamence. And Salamence. He's not gonna, he's gonna take that fake out like, Hey, why are you pinching me, bitch? Don't pinch me. <laughs> so, the Ninetales is gonna go for the Energy Ball. And... Ooh, 
crap ton of damage. The Earthquake is not going to touch Akihisora, and he's going to do a bunch of damage to both his Pokemon. And I'm finally going to kill the Ninetales, but there's no really point in trying to win the Weather War now, because I've got a whole bunch of Pokemon that he does. And all he's got left is that Infernape and the Heatran. So it's pretty much going to be good game. As, um, I'm just going to break break the Heatran with my Salamence and then proceed to eat two both his pokes. Well, actually, he's going to fake out. No, he's going to Flare Blitz my Salamence and it's going to kill it. And he's going to die in the process. And the Heatran won't be able to kill my Hippo, Hippo Don. Uh, cause he's gonna go for Dragon Pulse and it's not stab and it's not free. Well, it's mutually effective, but it doesn't really matter. Um, so anyways, he's not gonna be able to kill my Hippodon with a Dragon Pulse, and I'm gonna kill it off with a Earthquake, and that is going to be a good game. Got my second gym badge, and yeah, my life is the worst piece of crap that ever happened in the face of the Earth right now. Take any bad situation you've ever had, anybody. Bad situation, multiply that by a million and you've got me. So, yeah, bye.